Anxiety. It seems just about everyone says they suffer from it. But now the CDC reports that over 4 million children here in the U.S. have been officially diagnosed with it. Childhood anxiety is up, and it's a big concern. Recent stats show 80% of kids with anxiety disorders are not getting treatment for it. Plus, there has been a 17% increase in anxiety diagnoses for kids in the last 10 years, according to the 2018 Children's Mental Health Report. With untreated anxiety leading to other serious conditions, many experts and parents are asking what's behind this rise in anxious children. Joining us today is board certified child and adolescent psychiatrist, Dr. Dominic Sportelli, to talk about what is such the dumb is in the house. Oh, it's so good to be here. And it is so important, guys. My private practice is exploding, unfortunately, with kids that are anxious. They're so anxious, these kids. And they all have a common theme. They're all telling me that they feel overwhelmed. Now, these are like the adolescents and, and high school kids. I feel so overwhelmed, Doc. I just can't do it. I can't do it. And that coincides with a study. Get this, 1985, when they asked kids, do you feel overwhelmed to the point where it's affecting your life in a negative way? 1985, about 18% said yes. In the year 2000, 28% said yes. Now, 41% of 18-year-old kids say, I feel so overwhelmed, I cannot handle and it. Back in my day, tough. we were all mellow. You guys were chill. It wasn't as much going on in terms of technology. And, that changed. And it changed. The landscape changed. And most of the anxiety that I see is generalized anxiety disorder, which is this, it's just this fear of worry all the time. This what if thinking, what if this, what if that, right? I see separation anxiety in the younger kids. They don't want to leave their parents. They're just afraid to be out on their own. And then you see this social phobia where kids just really have a hard time engaging socially. So what we see is, number one, social media. We know there's a link. We've talked about it. The link between social media and anxiety is through the roof, right? That's number one. Number two, the world is a really small place, guys. You can't hide from anything. You open your phone and you see the news. You see the wars. You see the death and destruction and everything is bad. And, so and it seems so much more immediate. It's immediate. It's, it's right there, yeah. right? So, so kids can't get away from the news and the media and the social media, and then, super, super important, we live in an incredibly pressured society now. Children's pressure to succeed is higher than ever. Every kid has a tutor. Every kid has a private sports coach. coach. Every kid is, I need to be the best, I need to be the best, I need to be the best. And we have a helicopter parenting theme going on, guys, too, which we know doesn't help. So when you, when you take this study, or these percentages, and you start talking about how you deal with anxiety in kids. Because I hate to say it, in adults, a lot of people hear the word anxiety and, oh, well, just take an anti-anxiety yeah. pill. I know, for yeah. us, yeah. I mean... Which oh, is do, not, do, not good, yeah, necessarily, yeah. but... Do, you, do your meditation, do your mindfulness, yeah. Yeah. go to a happy place, sure. all those things, deep breathe, but yeah. you tell a kid that, they don't... No, they the don't get it. They way. don't have the insight, and a lot of kids somaticize, and a lot of kids don't even realize that they're anxious. But you know how they present? I have a stomach ache. Mm -hmm. I have a headache. Mm -hmm. I feel nauseous. I feel dizzy. I don't want to go to school. So kids somaticize their problems. They kind of manifest physically, and that's a, that's a red flag for parents is to see that your child might be having an issue and you need to intervene. But guys, here's the good news. The good news is that treating children for anxiety has tremendous results. Seventy to eighty percent will get better with just psychotherapeutic intervention, right? So not That's even great. medicines yeah. at this great. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, so I so and I'm okay. anxious to hear when do you give a child a medication, but if you can yeah. avoid that in a developing brain, the I plasticity agree. going on and yep. becoming dependent yeah. on medications that all have side effects at such an early age, you want to avoid that. Yeah, and I agree.